What's up, Buttercups? It's Devin here, your poor lipstick addict. Once again, this is going to be Project Pan update number three uh, for the lip product Project Pan that I'm doing. The no buy is going well. I still have yet to buy anything. I did just get a new, I don't know if I brought this up in my last video, but my friend Kristen bought me this for Christmas. Uh, it is the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade JK Magic in the refillable hot lips packaging. Super pretty peachy nude, peachy pinkish nude. Um, I do love it. I've been severely, severely enjoying it. Uh, but that is new to my collection. It was late coming in because there were some shipping issues, but I do love it. Uh, so if you haven't seen my last video, or my last recent video, it was a declutter. I got rid of a lot of things uh, in my lip products because I'm KonMari, the Marie Kondo style of decluttering. I'm doing that to all of my things. And I said whether or not it's in my project pan, I'm going to get rid of it if it doesn't bring me joy. And I did that earlier today. Um, so now I'm gonna go through and basically refresh my project pan. Um, I'm not going to show you the products that were in because you can just watch that and I mention which ones are in, but I only have six more, or I have six products here that I'm going to be putting into the project today, and those are going to be the ones that I use for the rest of the year. Whenever one gets done, I'm going to refresh it out unless it is my lip pencil or my lip scrub. Once those are gone, they're gone. I do not have anything to replace them. All right. Let me get started with my Velour Lip Scrub from Jeffree Star in the sh uh, scent Vanilla Mint. This has um, a good chunk taken out of it. I use it once a week and then right before I use a lipstick that clings to my dry patches. I have two, or I had two lipsticks. I don't know off the top of my head which ones have any more but if I do have one like that I usually exfoliate before using those but I usually use it once a week um, or anytime that I feel it's necessary so that's how much is in there uh, I'm gonna just track it by visual when I get to the bottom I get to the bottom um, and this is also I do have some information this is 30 grams or one ounce I bought this in November uh, at the Mall of America in Minnesota, and it was $12. So that is the first product. The second product in my that will also not be able to be refreshed because they're the only ones I have in those uh, sections is my Gerard Cosmetics lip pencil in this in the shade Sugar and Spice, which. As you can see, it's a darker nude, brownie nude, compared to my JK Magic Peachy Pink. I do wear these together, and I also wear it with another lipstick in this project, or I wear it by itself with a gloss. So um, there's three ways to use it. I am pretty much halfway done with it, almost. Um... I know that my last Gerard Cosmetics like ran out like around here, so I'm feeling like I only really have this much left to go. So this will probably, sorry, will probably be done pretty quickly. This was on sale when I bought it in June of 2019 for $5, but they're originally $16 a piece. And it is 1.1 gram or 0.04 ounces. Uh, brand new. My next product is going to be this YSL Plump in Color Lip Gloss Stick. I don't know what number this is, like what shade number this is, but like I said, it's a very sheer, you can't even see it on my hand. Uh, it just gives like a sheer pinky color to the lips and it's just like a gloss. It's like just brings gloss. That is how much is left. Um, if I can show you there that's how much is left very little left so I don't think this is going to take too long I use it basically whenever I'm not wearing a lip product I just throw this on um, the information on this one is it is 
3.5 grams or 0.12 ounces uh, brand new. It is $39 at Sephora, but I bought it when it was like $37 or $36. I got it as a gift for my mom, uh, but I picked it out myself and I bought it. We bought it back in February of 2019. Um, so I don't think that will take too long. Probably by next month I'll probably have it out of the collection. My next one on the list is my Carmex uh, medicated lip balm in the tub here. As you can see, you can't see, hold on. Yeah, as you can see there's quite a bit taken out of it. If you can kind of see, there's a big dip in the middle. Uh, I'm thinking that this is going pretty well. I think I put this in the project last month. Um, and this is 7 grams or 0.25 ounces. I bought it for a dollar at Menards, like at the checkouts. I know it's a little more expensive in other places depending on where you get it, but it's like $1 to $2. Um, so it's a great product. Uh, and then let's keep going. Uh, I have two more products left. I have the <clears throat> ColourPop Sophia Nygaard collab in the shade Bikini Bottom. I love this packaging. I just hit, this is the, the shade is Bikini Bottom. I just hit where the bats start imprinting. I'm on that first bat. Um, here is the shade right there it's much nude like neutral nude compared to JK Magic in the peachy pink color uh, it's very nude on me it's a, like a concealer lip on me uh, so I pretty much use it underneath darker colors to lighten them like today I have it um, under this uh, red lipstick in his pepper this is the lipstick but I muted it with this one um, so that's how the shade became that shade. I also use it with this lip liner or I can use it on its own with a gloss over the top. So I have lots um, of use for that. It is 3.5 grams or 0.12 ounces. Uh, the brand new, this is $8. Um, and I bought it back in November when they first launched. Uh, and my last but not least, the Essence Plumpy Nudes Lip Gloss in She's So Extra. This is a way thicker lip gloss than I usually go for. And it's a pink gloss. So it's pretty sheer on the lips, but it's still like more opaque than the Fenty Gloss Bombs. Um, so yeah, it's just a pink gloss. I wear it with this lip liner. I wear it with this color. Um, so I can pair it or I just wear it on its own. I can pair it like that. Um, this was $3.99 at Ulta. Essence is a very cheap brand. It's a very nice lip gloss. Um, it's super thick but not sticky. And then also it says that it's plumping. Um, I don't really feel the tingling or like plumping like in buxom glosses but it is a good color like it's a good colored gloss uh, I got this back in November it is 0.15 ounces um, so I've been working on that uh, yeah so those are the products in my new revamped project pan this is update number three you could basically say it's update number one since most of the products are new again but this was kind of the month for me to like be able to change things out uh, like a quarterly refresh um, so hopefully these products I enjoy these products a lot so I should get more use out of them they're all very nude or pink toned this one's not in the project that's my JK magic but I've been using that very very much um, oh I also was going to say how much I've used these products since I started I kind of revamped the project a little earlier uh, but since March 1st I've been keeping track of how many times I apply each lip product that um, is in the project so so far I've used this four times uh, since March 1st I will say 
um, and I've used this 15 times, this 9 times, this 19 times, this I used, this Essence lip gloss I used 3 times, and the lip liner in Sugar and Spice I've used 7 times. Um, so basically at each check-in from now on I will let you know how many times I've used everything um, and show you the progress. Um, so that's been from March 1st to March 22nd today is and this video will probably go up at the end of well three or four days from now probably I will put this video out um, and then next month probably like April 20th or so I will make an update and I will update you on the numbers from today to then um, or from from April 1st to like it'll be the month so I'll tell you what the what the final number for March was and then where it is at in April um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Uh, thank you for watching. See you later.